Recreational marijuana is now legal in New York State. Governor Cuomo signing the bill late Wednesday morning. Last night, the state legislature made history and acted to right a wrong and legalize marijuana the right way. Mayor de Blasio praising last night's historic vote as New York lawmakers passed the sweeping legislation. Today we are ending a 90-year Prohibition. This means New Yorkers 21 and older will be able to legally buy cannabis from an authorized retailer and possess up to three ounces. They'll also be able to grow as many as six plants at home. The potential $4.2 billion industry will mean $350 million in tax revenue for the state. But many local leaders are now looking to sign a cannabis equity commitment to make sure the tax revenue helps minority communities. In this bill, we have worked to protect communities of color from over policing. Attorney General Letitia James saying in part, quote, the legalization of marijuana is a racial and criminal justice imperative. Governor Cuomo saying, quote, New York has a storied history of being the progressive capital of the nation, and this important legislation will once again carry on that legacy. But not everyone is convinced it's a good idea. I think worry about what's the unintended consequences. We've certainly seen that sometimes before. Hey, this is one that's a, that's a significant shift. Uh, I have no doubt they think uh, that they're doing the right thing. Some Republicans believe the new law comes with dangers and marks a step in the wrong direction. Minority leader Will Barclay saying legalizing marijuana guarantees young people will have greater access to a drug they shouldn't be anywhere near. People can start growing marijuana right away, but retail sales aren't expected for about a year. Jessica Moore, CBS2 News. Support for the legalization of marijuana in Louisiana is growing and voters may have a say if a bill proposed by a North Shore lawmaker makes it to the ballot. I brought it because uh, when I was knocking on doors in my election 2019, it would surprise me how many people uh, just in my in my very conservative district, it surprised me how many people really supported legalization. Republican State Representative Richard Nelson of Mandeville is proposing House Bill 524. I'm not really the stereotypical uh, person to author these bills, you know, a conservative from a conservative district. Uh, but I think I'm also an engineer, so I can kind of look at the data and look at the numbers. If approved, possession of marijuana would be decriminalized across the state. However, marijuana could only be grown and sold in parishes that vote in favor of the bill. You know, kind of the dry county concept for alcohol. Nearly 1,200 Louisiana voters participated in a recent survey by JMC Analytics. More than two-thirds of responders favored legalizing both medicinal and recreational marijuana. That's up from about half last year. If it gets on the ballot, I think it will pass statewide. Political analyst Clancy Dubo says the biggest hurdle isn't votes. It's pushing the bill through the state house. He expects opposition from law enforcement. The voters are with him. But it's a question of whether the district attorneys and the sheriffs want to get on board. Nelson estimates tax from legal marijuana would bring in a billion dollars to the state over the first five years. He filed another bill that would split that tax money between local municipalities and the state with 20 percent to law enforcement. Fix your roads. If you want to fix your roads, you can fix your schools. If Representative Nelson's bill makes it to the ballot, voters would decide at the next statewide election, which currently is scheduled for November 2022. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Well, there is another similar bill that's been filed. Democrat State Senate Representative Candace Newell in New Orleans also proposing a bill that would decriminalize marijuana. And today, New Orleans City Council President Helena Moreno filed a resolution backing that bill. The state's new marijuana law has just been passed, meaning people can possess and grow a small amounts of the drug. But right now, stores can still not sell it. And as Gilat Malamud reports, new at 11, some community leaders want to keep it that way. Growing, smoking, and possessing certain amounts of recreational marijuana is legal everywhere in New York. Buying from a dispensary might not be. The benefit of the taxes doesn't even come close. Marilla Town Supervisor Earl Gingrich Jr. says the town will opt out of cannabis retail. This includes dispensaries and on-site consumption, such as a smoke lounge. Gingrich says he knows too many families who lost loved ones to drug overdoses. He says he's worried marijuana is a gateway drug. And that contributed to somebody getting hooked on drugs and struggling with it. And I'm not part of somebody being hurt or killed on our roads. 
because of it. The town of Tonawanda says it's examining the pros and cons to opting out. What are some of the aspects of this bill that you're going to be looking at over the next couple months? Oh, making sure, you know, distances, you know, uh, uh, away from schools and daycare centers or religious uh, institutions. Dispensaries likely won't come to the state until 2022 with a 1% county, 3% municipal and 9% state tax. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown says the city is looking at training and income programs as potential ways to invest in communities disproportionately affected by marijuana arrests. This is going to be hopefully a significant allocation of money that will come back to the local community. If we opt out, you know, town and town and residents can go over under Hurdle Avenue in the city of Buffalo, and the city of Buffalo will get the financial uh, rewards, for lack of a better word, uh, on that. And, and the town of Tonawanda will still be then responsible for enforcing the laws. The supervisors say opting out of dispensaries requires public hearings and a town board vote. Cities, towns, and villages have until December 31st to opt out. Gilad Malamed, 7 Eyewitness News.